Hi and welcome to English for a business communication. Our topic is called terms used in selling or English used in selling. There's something psychological about the words that you use. This of course is a lion, a carved lion, a work of art or a piece of art. If I say this is ugly. This artist, what did he eat? What was he thinking about? No matter how good this work of art is, in the minds of most people, I've damaged this piece of art or this work of art. And so the English that you use when you sell must be positive, must be creative, must be joyful. On the other hand, I say, what a work of art. Look at this design here. It is, it is reminiscent of the uh, 18th century. A rare work of art. Magnificent. Marvelous. Lovely. Already, the people who are watching this video, they want to be identified with this lion, this carving. Always use language which is attractive in business because it's all about words remember people are busy when someone tunes into your broadcast your video your audio or whatever make sure that whatever they hear is good is sweet makes them want to know more, makes them want to buy your product. Look at this lion, the eyes. Look at this lion. Ah, this is just amazing. It's a ray. Just look at it. You see, even if you are lost for words and you are going on and on, just look at it. Already, that instills some confidence in the people who are watching the video. Of course, it's the words that change things or that mean a lot. With the right words, something that is ugly can be turned into something that is beautiful. With the right words, something that can be sold, can be sold for a very high price. It's all about words. A rare work of art. Ah, this is worth more than, you know, one hundred thousand dollars because it's so rare. It's so beautiful, so magnificent. It's a collector's item. What sells is your speech, is the words. Of course, they say a good product will sell itself. I don't doubt that. When it comes to artifacts or let's say to works of art or even um, things in general, you put things in categories through your words. You educate the marketplace through your words and so if you want something to be worth a lot it becomes worth a lot if you want something to be cheap it becomes cheap it is all in words it is all in your words and of course when you market your product always be neat creative in your designs quality yeah you have been told to save big so your presentation must equate to your language what you are saying must balance with what you are seeing so words used in selling is not just the words if you have visuals make sure that you have the best quality visuals.
I think 